Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here together again because we wanted to discuss something that we're pretty passionate about because um, most of you may know if you followed us, you've seen that we really like to live simply. We would love to live as cheap as possible and we just like to really keep things very minimal. So we've gotten a lot of questions in the past about what it would be the cheapest foods to buy on a vegan diet. Some people seem to think if they're moving from standard American diet, eating lots of meat and dairy and eggs um, and a few vegetables here and there, they think that eating vegan is super expensive. So we wanted to discuss some types of foods you should focus on that would keep your vegan diet really, really cheap. It would keep your way of living, your way of eating super, super inexpensive. Okay, so the, first of all, there's um, plenty of uh, whole foods that are very cheap as well. So there's like brown rice, purple rice, things like that. Uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes. Um, vegetables are usually pretty cheap. Bananas, they're very cheap. And usually you'll find the cheapest foods um, are the ones with the, with, with the most dense calories as well. Uh, mm. Just like we said, so rice, uh, even like the whole grain pastas, um, even like the whole grain breads and things like that. They're usually pretty cheap. Um, yeah, potatoes, starches in general. Starches in general are usually very cheap, aren't they? So we were discussing that um, we both agree to eat a whole foods, plant-based diet. And it's, I, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but the whole foods that we are pushing you to purchase and the foods that we buy, whole foods, they seem to be the cheapest anyway. So we wanted to focus and tell you to focus on... Um, I said focus too many times. Yeah, the beans. <laughs> we wanted to say to focus on whole grains, beans, legumes, and especially when you're buying these things, these um, beans and legumes, buy them dry. You can buy a big, huge bag or a big bulk size of dry beans and cook them yourselves. They actually end up even cheaper than canned beans, and you know how cheap canned beans can be. So whole grains, beans, legumes... All sorts of whole different oats. whole grains are, yes, and oats. oats are our staple. We very, very inexpensive. It's half of our diet, isn't it? Oats. Root vegetables, lots of potatoes, different mm -hmm. types of potatoes. If you're in a different country, maybe sweet potato would be cheaper or potato. Look around and see what you can see. Yeah, so, I mean, there's, there's so many options for you. You don't have to think, oh, being vegan is expensive mm -hmm. because um, the, the vegan diet is actually the cheapest diet in the world. Um, I mean, I know some people think, oh, yeah, you can go to McDonald's or whatever and it's cheap. But, um, you know, sort of gram for gram, calorie for calorie, um, the, the potatoes, rice, beans, you know, even like breads, pastas, things like that. They are the cheapest foods on this planet. Grains I, in general, really. I think the thing of what people assume is that when you're vegan, you have to buy vegan cheeses, you have to buy plant milks, you have to buy vegan mm. meats. And all of these things are, they are very expensive. Specialist so foods. If you focus on whole foods, like we're saying rice, beans, potatoes, um, different types of fruits and veggies, you're going to be eating very, very simply, very, very cheaply. Um, and I think you're, you're, you're going to be eating a lot more nutrients as well. So you're going to feel better. Mm. I mean, for sure, obviously, now and again, you know, if, if you, if you want to, like, splurge out for the, the vegan cheeses and mm. the vegan burgers and things like that, but you, you can even make your own uh, vegan burgers out of, um, you know, like black beans and uh, quinoa and um, things like that, right? And then you can even... We, we even made um, pizza out of um, sweet potatoes and potatoes. Yeah. So we made a pizza crust, and then we just simply put, like, tomatoes and vegetables on top. And we use just like a little bit of oat flour. So I wanted to quickly um, mention about fruits and vegetables. Uh, it depends on where, if you go to a fresh fresh market or if you go to a grocery store, um, try and get, if you can, either um, fresh and frozen or whatever you can get that's cheaper. Typically, sometimes in grocery stores, big box grocery stores, you'll find that frozen vegetables are much cheaper than fresh vegetables. So pick out what you can of the fresh vegetables that are super cheap, and then look around the frozen food section and find big bags of mixed vegetables that are frozen, and they ten tend to be very, very inexpensive. Yeah, and, and the good thing with frozen stuff is it's usually frozen at optimum ripeness. So uh, it'll unlike, be more nutrient dense. Yes. So and unlike your your green food in the store, um, you, you they usually pick it at optimum ripeness and then freeze it straight away. So you're actually getting it with the most nutrients and at its sweetest and its best tasting. Did you want to add anything else? I think we touched on everything. Yeah. Whole grains, beans, legumes, dry, root vegetables, 
uh, fruits and veggies can be purchased fresh or frozen, whatever you can find cheaper. So really focus on as much whole foods as you can. Um, look around at and see different types of grocery stores, different different fresh fruit and veg markets. And when you look around, you'll eventually get to know um, your local grocers. You can ask for discounts. You can find the overripe fruits. You can find the overripe um, vegetables that are kind of going off a little bit and you'll get super cheap prices. Um, don't be afraid to make friends with your uh, grocery managers and um, yeah and you'll get you'll get the hang and you'll see like which grocery stores offer cheaper for that exact product you could have a grocery store um, a and a grocery store B both selling um, peanut butter for example yeah your favorite peanut butter <laughs> one could be two dollars the other one could be five dollars so yeah, take a look really around fun. in your neighborhood and you'll you'll see which which uh, prices are cheaper for you yeah so um, basically to sum things up the vegan diet is the cheapest diet, especially if you are going to be on whole foods. Mm. If you want to have the more fancy stuff, obviously, uh, like like we said, the vegan cheeses, the burgers, and things like that. Obviously, it's more, um, it's it's less in demand at this moment mm. than than the other stuff. So it is more expensive. But if you eat the standard stuff, the potatoes, the rice, the beans, the starches, the grains, the vegetables, the fruit, stuff like that, it's in demand and it's very cheap. So mm. you don't have to think, oh, being vegan is expensive. Being vegan can be uh, one of the cheapest things that y you can do. So. so we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button there. And if you're new to either of our channels, subscribe for more because we, got, we help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.